Hello Flow Compounders, welcome back. Investors have many investment choices, strategies, and ways to make money, and all have one thing in common, a finite amount of time. The difference among them is the amount of effort they put into the process of investing. I've been an investor for over 30 years now, and I've been practicing martial arts for almost the same amount of time. I see a lot of similarities between martial arts and investing. In this video, we'll use a karate belt ranking analogy and take you on an overview of how I segment investors based on their investment approach. We'll explore four types of investors, each represented by a different karate belt color. We'll talk about their strategies, mindsets, and goals. We'll review how to progress from a white belt beginner to a black belt investment master. So let's get started. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor and you are responsible for your own financial decisions. In karate, the white belt symbolizes a beginner's pure and untainted state. Similarly, white belt investors are new to the world of investing. They're just starting to learn the basics and are focused on building a strong foundation. One important caveat, you only need to achieve the white belt level to be a good investor. Everything you need to become wealthy is learned at the white belt level. So what are the characteristics of white belt investors? First, they're focused on savings. White belts prioritize saving money or should prioritize saving money. They learn about the importance of having a surplus. This means earning more than what you spend. They start by building an emergency fund and having cash reserves. Second, they're passive investors. They adopt a passive investment strategy meaning that they don't actively pick stocks or try to time the market. And by the way, they don't fall for speculative products like Bitcoin. Third, they use indexed ETFs. White belts invest in low cost index ETFs, exchange traded funds. These funds track a specific market index like the S&P 500 and provide broad market exposure. Strategies for white belt investors. First, Start with education. White belts should begin by educating themselves about the basics of investing. Good resources or YouTube channels like our club, this one, books like the Bogle's Guide to the Three Fund Portfolio, online courses, and other financial blogs. Second, automate savings by setting up automatic transfers to a savings accounts or investment accounts that can help build a habit of saving and investing regularly. Third, they diversified with index ETFs. By investing in index ETFs, White belts can achieve diversification and reduce risk. Some popular choices are the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, that's VOO, and the iShares Core MSCI Total International Stock ETF, symbol IXUS. Here's an example. Meet Sarah, a white belt investor. She's in her early 20s and has just started her first job. Sarah sets up automatic transfers from her paycheck to her savings account and invest in a couple of index ETFs. She doesn't worry about picking individual stocks because she knows that index ETFs will give her broad market exposure. If Sarah decided to stay at the white belt level and didn't learn anything new or any new strategies, she will be able to accumulate substantial wealth at the white belt level. If Sarah invested $1,000 a month at an average 8% annual return, she would have over a million dollars before her 50th birthday. By the way, I highly suggest that you watch my video from zero to 100,000. Check out the link. Now on to the next level, green belts. Green belt investors have progressed beyond the basics and are ready to focus on a specific strategy, dividend investing. What are the characteristics of a green belt investor? First, income focused. Green belts are interested in generating a steady stream of income from their investments, either now or in the future. They usually break into two groups, the ones that focus on current yield and the others that are focused on future yield, meaning dividend growth. Second, dividend paying stocks. They invest in companies that regularly pay dividends. Dividends are a portion of the company's earnings distributed to shareholders. Third, bonds. They also invest in bonds. Bonds are loans made to creditors like the government or businesses, and they provide predictable income streams through interest payments. Fourth, long-term horizon. Green belts typically have a long-term investment horizon, aiming to reinvest dividends and benefit from compounding. Strategies for a green belt investor. Number one, research dividend paying companies. Green belts should take a look at companies with strong history of paying and increasing dividends. Tools like the dividend aristocrat list can be helpful. Second, Diversify across sectors. To reduce risk, green belts should diversify their investments across different sectors, such as utilities, consumer goods, and healthcare. Third, reinvest the dividends. By reinvesting dividends, green belts can take advantage of compounding returns and grow their investments over time. For example, John is a green belt investor who loves the idea of earning passive income through dividends. He invests in companies like Johnson & Johnson and Procter & Gamble, 
which have a long history of paying and increasing dividends. John reinvests his dividends, allowing his investments to grow over time. I hardly suggest watching some of my videos on dividend investing. Here's the link to the playlist. Brown Belt Investors, the Growth Seekers. What are the characteristics of Brown Belt Investors? They're growth focused. Brown Belts seek out companies with high growth potential, even if they don't currently pay dividends. Risk Tolerance. They're willing to take on more risk, understanding that higher potential returns come with increased volatility. Active Management. Brown Belts often engage in more active management of their portfolio, researching and selecting individual stocks. Strategies for Brown Belt Investors. Number one, identify growth sectors. Brown Belts should identify sectors with high growth potential, such as AI technology, healthcare, and renewable energy. Second, analyze the financials. Conducting thorough analysis of a company's financial statements, management team, and competitive positions is crucial for identifying growth stocks. Three, monitor and adjust. Growth investing requires regular monitoring of investments and being ready to make adjustments based on market conditions and company performance. For example, Emily, a brown belt investor, is excited about the potential of the technology sector. She invests in companies like Apple and Nvidia, believing in their growth potential. Emily actively follows the market trends and company news to make informed decisions about her investments. See my videos on coffee can investing to get more insights on how to build a compelling growth portfolio. Here's the link. Black Belt Investors, the Masters. As I said earlier, I've been practicing martial arts for over 30 years. And at the end, after learning different styles of karate, and Kung Fu, it boils down to the basics and to things that you actually enjoy doing. Same as in investing. The black belt investors have a lot of skills. They've learned everything that the white belts, the green belts, the brown belts learned, but they mastered their own style. So here's what a black belt investor would look like. Number one, an eclectic approach. Black belts pick and choose their favorite strategies from the white, green, and brown belts skill sets. Second, expertise in all areas. They have knowledge and experience to operate in all areas of investing, from passive index investing to active stock picking and even writing options. Third, risk management. Black belts are adept at managing risk and can adjust their strategies based on market conditions. What strategies do black belt investors use? Number one, they customize their portfolio. Black belts create customized portfolios that reflect their unique goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Second, blended strategies. They blend different strategies, such as holding a core index ETF for stability, dividend stocks and option writing for income, and growth stocks for potential high returns. It really depends on what they like to do, okay? And third, they stay informed. Continuous learning and staying informed about the markets, economic indicators, and individual companies' performance is key for black belts. For example, let's take a look at David. He's a black belt investor with a well-rounded portfolio, what we call a core satellite portfolio. He holds index ETFs like Vanguard's Total Stock Market ETF, VTI, for broad market exposure. He also has dividend stocks like Coca-Cola for steady income and growth stocks like Nvidia for potential high returns, which by the way is doing really well right now. David regularly reviews his portfolio and adjusts his strategy based on market conditions and his financial goals. To learn more about the core satellite investment approach, take a look at this video. So there you have it, four types of investors explained through the lens of karate belt ranks. Whether you're a white belt just starting out, a green belt focused on dividends and income, a brown belt seeking growth, or a black belt mastering all strategies, there's always room to learn and grow as an investor. The key to successful investing is to understand your goals, stay disciplined, and continuously educate yourself. Remember to always be compounding. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.